high. Give this a second to pull up and load. I'm gonna be doing a little bit about how to handle Aquarius season today. We also have um, a new moon in Aquarius tomorrow, so that's what we're talking about. Give me a second to find this feed and to pull it up. I'm gonna be doing um, Hero's Journey Oracle cards today too. find this feed. If you're going to want a card, just go ahead and drop a comment while I go ahead and share this out. If you're just finding me, please take a second to share this feed out. Also, I always need you guys to. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, navigating these Aquarius energies. I kind of started to touch base on this yesterday. I also need you guys to share this post out. All right, so we have a lot of energy still coming in. I was talking yesterday about how this is just kind of the new normal right now. Um, I thought we could go ahead and kind of have a chat about how to handle Aquarius season. I had um, talked about yesterday how Aquarius is a powerful element for change, um, but it's also a lot of galactic energies. It's really kind of putting everyone in the mental aspect, in the third eye more. I don't know if you guys are noticing, you're probably maybe having more thoughts, more things surfacing, maybe more glimpses of your dreams, um, more daydreaming, kind of finding yourself in that headspace more right now. This is a really powerful energy too, because this is the first new moon of the decade. I put a lot of new moon posts out this morning, um, all over Facebook, kind of in our group areas, but this is a really powerful moon because it's bringing a lot of creativity energy with it. Um, Aquarius is also for the underdog. That is you. Um, the star seed, the galactic, the misunderstood, the system buster, the indigo. Um, so there's a lot of really powerful energy flying around encouraging us to get creative this new moon. We are seeding our intentions. We have a lot of powerful astrology behind this new moon that is assisting us the things that you know we're putting out intentions for or trying to manifest now are really going to blossom in the next several months, but so are we. We've been going through an intense transformation with this ascension and it's really changing us internally and that's kind of becoming more and more apparent externally as we're seeing our universe change as well. Um, this is a powerful time for humanity and we're going through a lot of change. We can see that in the astrology this year as well. We're going to have a lot of powerful energy in February and where this takes us is up to us. It's really time where we kind of step into that role uh, as writer of our own story. That's why I've been doing um, these cards the past couple of days, the hero's journey, because that's really where we're at with this. We are on quite a quest, a hero's journey, and it's important that we are becoming that hero of our own story as well as the writer. Um, so we have a powerful space right now to be seeding new beginnings. You guys should be feeling a need to declutter your house as well as your mind right now. So we have a lot of thoughts kind of surfacing and it's giving you a good idea as to not just your external space, your internal. Um, so pay attention to the things that you're thinking about. You know, it takes a lot of work to wake up and reprogram ourselves and the thought patterns that we have. Just really pay attention to the things that are surfacing, areas that you could work on, things that you should be putting your focus on. And I really like this element too um, because it's encouraging us to, you know, find some independence in our path. And so it's very important that we are really focusing on ourselves right now. That's how we make the best change. Have you ever noticed we can't really change other people that don't want to change? But when it comes to ourselves, we can make very powerful, drastic changes. So this energy is here for us. It is pushing us to go within, to work on ourselves. You know, where do we want to go this year? Where is this all kind of leading us? And we have a lot of powerful energy that is hitting the planet and it's, you know, encouraging us to participate in creating to the collective and creating something new as well. Um, one more thing I'm going to throw in there about this energy. It's all about service as well. So a lot of you guys are feeling a pull to kind of answer a calling or be the solution to kind of a chaotic collective as these things are 
kind of unfolding. So, you know, this is an amazing energy for you guys that have missions to be thinking about, you know, your missions, where they're going. Do you want to try new things? Maybe you guys want to start a mission, right? Maybe you guys want to be of service or want to help in some type of way. So this is a really powerful energy for light workers, for star seeds, for the underdog, maybe just the misunderstood as well. All right, my link is above. Um, it's a good time to move around too. <laughs> so if any of you guys are kind of feeling, you know, last month's energy, try to move around a little bit more. It will really help you going through these energy shifts to get things done. That's how we usually feel good. Sometimes when we lay around too much, we get in that ascension funk and we're not feeling so hot. So the more you guys can move around, get outside, connect with nature, do something, it will really help shift your energy too. My link is above. If you guys aren't feeling the energy, you're having a hard time with it, I am always here for... Akashic readings and healing work as well as classes on my site. The link is above. Heather Jones. <laughs> Never a crowd on the leading edge. Honor those who honor you. This is about us becoming karmically conscious of the energy that we're kind of contributing, not just to the collective, but to our own universe. Um, whatever energy we're putting out always comes back to us, hopefully in a good way, as we're shifting our frequency and kind of putting out better and better energy. Be very aware of the energy that you're putting out because it's always the energy coming back to you as well. That goes for love especially. And the 30 of 10. Good morning. You won the lotto again. <laughs> I liked these cards yesterday, so I figured I'd do them today. Only because it's a very um, dreamlike energy right now. A lot of you guys might even be having issues sleeping. Maybe having really powerful dream experiences as well. And those are all signs that you're going through some type of third eye upgrade as well. So this energy is especially powerful for our third eye. And, you know, we can tell when we're having really vivid dreams that it really is us tuning into this shift in consciousness. Us expanding our own consciousness. So you've won the lotto, make room for wonderment. Um, we're gonna continue to go through this process though. Um, it takes time, right? It takes time to go through what we're going through. Stay patient with the process. Pamela Rose, good morning. The reward, celebrate your magnificence. And you know, um, we should be more supportive of ourselves this year. We've been through so much, not just last year. I like to think last year was very intense too though, but we've been through so much on this journey. This is all about us kind of giving us ourselves the love that we deserve, right? Kind of filling those cracks with love on so many levels. Um, work on your relationship with yourself this year. It's gonna be really powerful in um, working on your energy too. Especially empaths. I think we have more work to do with the solar plexus as well. Um, you know, a lot of empaths have spent a lot of time taking on other people's pain as their own, not being able to distinguish or, you know, maybe emotions that don't feel so good or feel really heavy. We feel comfortable in that, right? Um, but this is about really working on our solar plexus this year, right? Finding that confidence again, too. Teresa Gilbert. The unknown is your friend. Lean in to embrace what's next. And you know, I, I love having these conversations about no one really knows what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen in your life. That could just be something so unexpected. It also takes one move from the universe to put us where we need to be as well. Um, expect the unexpected. Our ego has been very comfortable, you know, thinking of the world as we know it in this third dimensional context. And as we're kind of rising up and becoming multidimensional, that can be really scary for our ego. We are going into the unknown we don't know what's coming all right we might not even have a path or a plan anymore we feel like we're just kind of disoriented floating around going through the spiritual awakening um, but trust that you've always been on your path you can't go off your path ever right it's always a divine plan and we don't understand these things I was saying something about this this morning how sometimes these plans were made long before we were born and we're just kind of going along with our path and we're not seeing the big picture or why we may have needed some of these experiences but you're right where you should be trust that Lee Ann Ms. Kane good morning after glow <laughs> land gracefully we're working on our glow how do we glow so you can usually tell where people are at by kind of you know their state of consciousness but we're trying to glow more we're going to do that through love that's what really makes us glow um it doesn't matter if it's love or yourself another person all love is divine keep working on your energy Amber Bartow, 
stand up and be recognized. Behold, you're the inspiration you've been looking for. And, you know, a lot of times we kind of got put into this victim programming in the third dimension, like someone was going to come save us or help us with our lessons. And we see that a lot with, like, I, I look at, like, Disney movies. There's always someone coming to save the princess, and they have these kind of programs kind of running. But we're figuring out that, you know, we're meant to step into our power. We've been pushed very hard like on our path because it's how we're supposed to find our greatness how we're supposed to kind of dig our way out of these situations find our power um so this path is all about empowerment and kind of tuning in and finding your power Haley Krunkenberger ocean of emotion find a safe place to express your true feelings and you know a lot of people will talk about ascension like it is all love and light i always say this but a lot of times this is what's really happening on the planet we have waves of energy that are very high frequency hitting the planet and flooding the planet with love and guess what happens as we're going up in frequency all the garbage and layers of debris and things that need healed are going to continue to come to the surface and this is happening you know on an individual level but also a collective level we're seeing this those effects a lot of people think things are like getting worse and bad this is just all these things coming to the surface and we're going to continue going through this process until we reach a very pure state um so we're seeing sometimes these high frequencies energies are triggering a lot of heavy emotions that's part of kind of our internal compass being tuned on as well too um this moon can be extra emotional too this shift we're going through right now can be extra emotional for people as well right now too Honor the things that are coming up, but don't get stuck there. If that is messages for any of you guys, don't get stuck in it. Leah Catherine, dream sanctuary. Attend to the simple things. I think it's becoming more of a dream state as well. We can see that as the Schumann resonance is rising and um, increasing, that it's affecting, you know, our brainwave state and, you know, the way that we're perceiving and viewing consciousness in our state of consciousness. So we can see there's kind of powerful things being triggered. Pay attention to your dreams. These are other experiences that we're having. And I like to think we spend almost as much time in the dream dimensions as we do here. And this is where our soul kind of goes when we're not learning in earth school. And we're not limited in the same ways um, when we're kind of in our light body form. Pay attention to the dreams that you are remembering. They are messages. Kathleen Thurmer. What would you, your higher self do? Your divinity in blue jeans. It's important that we are seeing the divine in everyone as well. If we want to tend to see everyone in a state of duality and negative, then we'll probably see that and manifest that. It's important that we are seeing the divine in everyone as well, past all of these kind of ego battles people have going on and things like that. You really are divine in your truest form. Lisa Phoenix, say yes to your higher calling, be a human explanation mark. And this is all so that we can, like I said, step into our power. Um, you guys, if you are resonating with being awake in some type of way, then you've probably been activated for a mission bigger than yourself. And you're probably some type of starseed or light worker, or you could even be like, you know, a galactic type of soul, something like that. So this suddenly, once you do have a spiritual awakening for a lot of people, your life suddenly starts to make sense where we kind of were missing a big piece of ourselves in the puzzle. And suddenly we're having this spiritual awakening and more and more of ourselves is kind of making sense coming back. Erica Anderson, where you are is where it's at. Stay still until you're divinely moved. And like I said, we're right where we should be, always. Every person you've ever met is a teacher, right? <laughs> Some of the ones that we might not have resonated with the most might have taught us the most lessons as well. So everyone we are meeting is a teacher of some sort and meant to teach us something. You are in the right place. Sometimes, you know, for my, my experience, I feel like I got a bunch of really like crazy little lessons that might not have made sense to me prior to my awakening. And now that I'm doing this mission, I realized that I had a lot of experience and weird things that kind of comes together so that I have what I need and the experience I need to kind of go ahead and do this mission as well. So some of these um, experiences that weren't making sense are going to make more and more sense as well. Let's see, Mary Ann Ross. 
Trip the light, fantastic. Dance with the universe. Um, it's time to have fun. <laughs> I know, right? I know. This is a planet where we spend a lot of time working, and that's how we perceive success. Whoever's working a lot, but it's very important that we're having fun. We notice that you know this current paradigm can be very draining for a lot of people. A lot of people are ending up sick and depleted and not feeling good, and you know leaving the experience faster. So it's very important that we're making time to do things that our soul finds enjoying. <laughs> yes. Things that make you happy. What does your soul like to do? If you had free time and you know infinite money, your life will probably look a little bit differently. But that doesn't mean we need to limit our manifesting or perceive we have these limitations. You know, to manifest something is to see something in the physical that first started in your mind, and that's how all of creation works. So stay really aligned with the things that you're manifesting. Remove any perceived blocks. I hear people all the time will tell me a million excuses why they can't do something good for them. And then in the same kind of thing, they're going ahead and doing things that aren't great for them. So this is all about kind of putting ourselves first energetically too. Larissa Carell. Wheel of time, your char um, charges to enlarge. Um, definitely a Lumerian connection with you too. Like I said, it might not feel like it right now, but a lot of the people that are putting in the time spiritually and the work are going to be kind of looked at as people that might have answers to what's happening in the planet, if not already, right soon. Um, so definitely stay focused with your spiritual learning. Caprina Amenas. Weird is the new cool. Boldly express your uniqueness. And that's so true with Aquarius season. Um, it's time to kind of step into who you are. I like to think that sometimes we're kind of drawing more and more kind of eclectic people to us as well. Um, definitely step out of the paradigm of who you think you should be and more into who you are. That's how we find alignment with ourselves. The more authentic that we can get, the more in alignment we'll be. Susan Vasquez, breadcrumbs of bliss, heed your pleasure principle. And a lot of this feed would be, um, you know, generator energy types. And I look at that energy type as kind of like the grid workers, right? Light workers, healers, our job literally is to make good vibrations and to put out higher frequencies on this planet. So that's why it's very important that you are working on your sacral, that you're kind of finding your bliss. That's what's really going to light us up is kind of finding our passion, our purpose, our bliss. Annette M. The quest. Plunge boldly into life. And, you know, this is really about us kind of stepping into who we are more fully this year as well, right? Time to live your life a little more fully. Um, definitely make a bucket list. Like, we should be making bucket list vacation plans. I don't care how silly this sounds to you. This is really how reality works. And if we don't put out vibrations for the things that we do want. We're just going to get whatever the universe continues to give us. So it's very important that at some point we kind of wake up to an extent that we realize we're consciously aware, um, in control of everything that we're manifesting, right? Everything that we're thinking about is creating all of our interactions. So through simply, you know, shifting into a higher state of awareness and focusing more on what we want to manifest, that's how we're going to do it. Um, you know, everyone acts like they don't have time to do anything around here. Um, I know that we have so many thoughts any given day. Shift those thoughts to daydreams, good things, things you want to see in your reality and watch how this stuff works. And we know it does work because, you know, everyone sat there thinking about things they didn't want and that's what they created prior to their awakening. So we know this stuff works. Um, even if you haven't become like a master manifester, you know this stuff works just from your journey while you were asleep. You got to see how you created your fears and things you didn't want. And, you know, when we wake up, we really kind of go in the other direction. Dana up. Discover your superpower. Access 100% of your mojo. And that's what we're working on, hopefully. We're working on kind of tuning into these spiritual gifts and abilities and figuring out, you know, what they are and fine-tuning them in a lot of ways. Keep working on your third eye to continue doing that for sure. It's like the, it's most, bleh, the most powerful gateway that we have probably in our entire body. So simply through working with that chakra a lot more can really help. Marie Pucci, 
ally in disguise discover the hard to find blessings more gratitude um, this becomes the things we think about on a daily basis become our programming so if we have a negative mindset we're gonna probably be drawing more negativity to us um, so really stay focused in gratitude for the things that are going good you know a lot of the times if we look around we can see how we prayed for a lot of the things that we have now <laughs> and you know we should spend more time in gratitude we need to also kind of enjoy the journey everyone's really worried about the final destination and where this is all kind of leading to what leading to and a lot of this is the journey and kind of enjoying it Sandra Cucci I love this do what I just said stop and take in the view take stop of the treasures you earned so enjoy where you're at now it's been a lot of work to get you where you are here now a lot of us are in a really good place because we're meant to be focused on learning spiritually and healing Christine Jenkins 10,000 angels lean on your circle of supernatural support and so you know we're realizing that we're having a lot of kind of things that we're picking up on all the time and we do that in different ways um, sometimes you're just having feelings come to you thoughts sensing feeling things people perceive the spiritual in all different ways but you have a lot of help in the unseen um, I tell people to ask for more help pray more ask for more assistance connect with your angels send them messages a lot of you guys are receiving messages in the form of synchronicities right maybe things just aligning things you prayed for coming to you um it could just be like number codes dreams feeling loved renee gravelin you hold the key to an awakened life set yourself free this takes a lot of inner work because you know we really were living very unconsciously for a long time so we literally were kind of walking around on autopilot, on ego auto, auto, uh, autopilot. So it takes a lot of conscious work to kind of go through our thoughts and fine tune the things we're focused on in our patterns and the things that we kind of need to work on. But it's okay. We're in Aquarius season. So this is the perfect time to shift to your third eye, the thoughts that you're having. Pay attention. Learn to correct yourself if you have negative things kind of going on in your head. Sometimes we get that voice that's like, you know, you, you go ahead and you try to manifest something like I'm going on my dream vacation and you have this voice like, I don't think it will work. And you need to go ahead and tell yourself back, no, it will. <laughs> like, right? Reprogramming 101. <laughs> no, it really is going to. Um, be more of a cheerleader to yourself. Pay attention to your thoughts. Sometimes those negative thoughts are not from us or they are on an ego basis. Pay attention to the things you're thinking about, though, because they are your entire reality. Everyone has their own universe and their own world, mostly in their mind, and it's creating actual physical kind of reality. Let's see. Caprina M. Sec Fernandez. Celebrate the sacred gap. Give thanks for the buffer time. And that's where we're at on this planet. We have a nice time where... The rest of the planet is not really awake yet and <laughs> we're kind of here kind of anchoring in the spiritual learning in the spiritual and this is a nice space like I said for us to focus on you know our own evolution healing and kind of being ready for what's going to unfold. Tamaris Patricia Garcia dream redirection redream this situation um, if things aren't going good in your reality never be afraid to try again. If things aren't working out, maybe they're not for us. Sometimes we're always focused on things and they're not working out or we feel like things aren't coming. Um, you know, stay patient with the process. But for sure, it's never too late to think of something else. I've had a lot of situations in my life that I wasn't really happy in them. And don't ever be afraid to let go and just try to start again, start over. For sure, that's part of navigating this awakening and this ascension, I would say, too. Let's see, Jamie Taylor. The return, own your mastery. And this is about the level of work that we're putting in. I realize that, that we have people learning at different levels. And whatever you're kind of doing and putting in energetically is what you get back. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of just really focused on this spiritual path and mastery. And mastery is going to come through us mastering our energy. For sure. Heidi Taylor Haskins. Reborn daily. 
Let go of the past and breathe in your new incarnation. We have a hard time letting go of the past we're seeing as we're going through with this awakening. Things we hold on to, things affecting our energy. It doesn't matter. We're on new timelines and we've made all these quantum shifts, right? But we still bring all this garbage with us or think of it. And we're letting it affect our energy and our frequency. Things that, you know, might be surfacing as we're continuing forward this ascension. That's all normal. We're going through a lot of you know, heart chakra expansion, a lot of releasing, we're digging into a lot of deep areas such as um, past traumas, past life traumas, things affecting us for a long time to release them. Shannon Grass. North Star, flip your inner light switch. This is about us finding our light. We can't shine for others if we're not shining ourselves. This is us about, you know, taking care of our own energy so that we kind of are overflowing for others or that we are able to kind of act as that lighthouse for others, for sure. Sometimes people just need to reminding that they're light, too, when they get sucked in the dark places. Let's see. Justin Carter. Eye on the prize. Trust the guidance of your North Star. And, you know, our intuition is guiding us. For sure. Pay attention to your own internal intuition. Once we tune out external people, it really helps us, right? <laughs> I know a lot of people, a lot of other people lead them around. And it usually doesn't go good. Make sure that you're paying attention to your own intuition on this path. Paige Weller Dickey. A splendid torch. Br blaze brightly. And so we're trying to turn the light up on this planet. Simply through us staying higher vibe is assisting in bringing up the entire collective right now. Um, so we're noticing it, right? Definitely work on your own frequency. Do things that light yourself up. Have fun. Go dance, right? Go listen to some music. Do something that will shift your vibration or make you feel good. And watch how it will affect your entire universe and the entire planet. Wendy Grilly. The magic zone, the acceleration of discombobulation, and this entire universe is um, pure magic, which a lot of people did understand. Every word we speak, um, every thought that we have, pure magic, how any of this even works. Your magic, your entire makeup on every level. So we really need to pay attention to the things that we're talking about and thinking about. I'm always saying this, but that's how we'll find mastery in mastering our thoughts and the things that we're talking about and making sure they're in alignment with the things that we want to better create. Sophie Hernandez, there's no place like home. Nestle into the sweetness. A lot of you guys are star seeds and might even long for nicer places, right? Let's say nicer places, right? A lot of you guys might have this longing like your soul wants to leave or go home. Um, it's time to ground into this experience though. You're here for a very important reason. Kelly Moore, I know, <laughs> the thin, thin veil, um, let go and let glow. So, you know, what's happening is we're kind of going up in frequency and able to tune into the spiritual more and more as well. Um, other dimensions, other worlds, other realms, and those prior veils that I like to think of as ego are always blocking our sight, blocking our vision. We've always had this right here around us. And as we're kind of going through this dissolution of ego, we're able to see more and more as well of the spiritual. Keep working on your crown chakra. Kimberly Monticelli. Time to plant some seeds of intention. Go grow and glow. Um, time to be planting seeds that you want to see manifest. The problem is it's like real gardening. And I think it's funny because I've heard this planet described as a garden by extraterrestrials in some type of text so it kind of resonates so when you plant that seed you don't eat the fruit as they say the same day it takes some time right um so a lot of people put out like a frequency and they want something or they want to manifest something and it's not working and they just kind of give up on it um so for sure stay aligned with the seeds that you're planting those are your thoughts those are your words and this is how we're going to create a new collective as well Karen Smith, divine discernment, step back to find clarity. I've been doing that a lot lately, but, um, you know, to step back, I saw something earlier. It was like, take a break um, with this new moon. It's important that we're coming out of our shell right now, too. I think we've been doing a lot of kind of stepping back and watching things. Um, so maybe sometimes we get so stuck in what we want to see or the patterns, it can be good to take a break maybe a couple day break and see how the energy unfolds in a different way for us. Um, but really, you know, Aquarius is a good time to get social. 
um, for sure. <laughs> Come out of your shell. We've been spending a little bit too much time kind of healing it alone right now. It's a good time to kind of do group projects, come together. If you guys are looking for some spiritual groups, um, I have a group section on this page of ones I do that I like to think are really good. Katrina S. Flores. Knights of the Round Table. Let their love lift you higher. Keep working on your heart chakra and you should be drawn to some past places such as Avalon and Lumeria. Jessica Knee Palmer. Love it. I know. I'm trying to come back. I'm trying to use this energy. I'll be trying to work on my videos and my feeds. So I appreciate all of the love. Make sure you guys share this out. I'll be back tomorrow for the new moon and we can talk about seating intentions. Um, it's a really good day to clean your space, like I said. Declutter your thoughts, right? Try to do some cleansing. I'm doing a lot of saging and cleaning here. It always feels really good because um, we're going to go through a really big uh, kind of galactic porthole as well with this new moon. Um, so we're going to have a lot of energy behind it. It is the first new moon of the decade and it's always good to kind of go through these energy shifts with kind of a clean space too. So it's a good day to do some cleansing. Swear, Jessica. X marks the spot. See the love in disguise. Um, nothing but love, right? The universe loves you so much that it has a lot of light workers that are here serving and assisting to try to help this planet with these shifts that it's experiencing too. Um, so know that you're loved. Like there's nothing that you couldn't ask for that the universe would not send you, especially if you needed it. Andrea Lotker. Time for a quantum leap. Um, prepare for a makeover and we're getting ready to shift so like I said we've been making a lot of shifts lately like I said this is the new normal um, so it's really good idea to kind of do some cleansing um, I do a lot of salt baths here I do a lot of sage Palo Sano incense just fresh air um, you know open your windows more lots of cleansing with this energy it'll help we're getting ready to make a huge quantum shift and we're gonna see a lot of those in February as well it's gonna hopefully we'll be at a much better place having these chats I see it like we'll be at a much better place in a couple of months having these chats so it's kind of like you're under construction all of you right we're under construction we're in the cocoon be back in a minute right? so you know we're gonna see a huge transformation within the next several months too Laura Burns Bloss be the bridge um, expand your consciousness to behold both worlds. So once you wake up, you're tuning into two worlds. You're able to go, you know, in the old world, the third dimension, and you're able to kind of be in a different world. I like to think we're all kind of living in right now, the people tuning into this video in the fourth dimension, where you wake up and you kind of go to another timeline, another realm, right? And so things work a little bit differently here. We're able to pretty much, um, it, we're starting to be able to instant manifest much easier. Um, the things that we think about are definitely affecting reality much more. We're kind of being able to tune into these amazing gifts and more and more spiritually is coming back as well. So, you know, you are kind of tuning into this spiritual world all around you where not everyone is seeing it or able to kind of access it because we can only perceive what we're a vibrational match to. So unless we're a vibrating at a very high frequency, we're not able to perceive the spiritual. We're only able to perceive the physical dimensions around us. So you really are your own gateway or bridge right now. Christine Helen, how much good can you handle? Explore the upward spiral of grace. And you know, we really are making an ascension. Our soul had to descend to come experience earth school, as I call it, right, earth. Our, earth, our soul had to make a descent, actually, to come into this phys physical, dense kind of body as well when we made our journey, and now we're making an ascent, so we kind of descend to go to earth, and we're kind of ascending to heaven, if you kind of think about it, um, and this isn't done overnight. This is a energetic process that we're all going through on this planet right now. Have patience in it, but you are going up. Things should be getting better and better, right? <laughs> Brad Davenport, one with the sun, be the light. I'm excited because um, I know it's different on different parts of the world, but the sun's coming back here. The sun is powerful in moving this planet forward with this ascension as well. We're noticing that the sun and moon are kind of playing a big part in these energies as well, kind of as they merge with a lot of the galactic energies that are coming in. Um, so we're kind of seeing that there's a lot of solar influence right now. We've been having a lot of we'll say waves of solar wind hitting the planet and a lot of kind of solar influence. We know Aquarius is also, you know, very influenced by the sun as well. Lots of light codes coming in. Donna K. Brannon. 
the call. Honor the whisper of your soul. And our soul is leading us. We have to learn how to just tune in and listen. Um, for sure. Angela Lika Benda. <laughs> Me time. Enjoy your own company. Time to unplug. Time to spend some time with your thoughts, with yourself. I have to do that often. I always feel like it's hard for me to um, balance doing videos and the spiritual path as well because I am kind of an introvert that needs a lot of time to myself. And then I'm kind of expected to do a very kind of extrovert kind of job. And it can be a lot for me um, energetically. So I try to take a lot of time for myself. Make sure you're spending time alone, doing things you enjoy. This is how we recharge our energy. Jessica Waters. In the castle of dreams. Become altered by the color of your dreams. And like I said, this is a dream. We're going to become more and more apparent as we continue to awaken. And awakening is a process. Um, so stay patient with it. You're dreaming right now. It's never too late to become really good at this and a master manifestation, right? Master kind of influencing better the things that we are creating for sure. Um, you should start making manifesting lists, work with crystals, make grids, right? Just put it out there to the universe, daydreaming, vision boards, um, you know, watching videos on places you want to go, all powerful kind of ways to manifest. Karen Smith, attuned to the call. Time to tune in. Um, so definitely keep working on your third eye. This is a process, right? It would blow our minds if we just kind of got switched on immediately in one second, right? We've been spending our entire life kind of shifting gradually more and more towards the spiritual. Keep working on your third eye, though. You're going to find a lot of your power in that chakra. Tanya Richie Hoon. You were born for this. <laughs> Foster your intention of incarnating in this dimension. And yes, we pick to be this role, this experience in every one of these lessons. And people say, why? Why would I do that? It's things that our soul needed to trigger this remembering, right? If you hadn't had all these crazy experiences, we wouldn't be here chatting about this and healing these things. So it did lead you to your awakening. Um, so I tell people that about some of the relationships people are in, the things they're doing. This is what's leading us to wake up more and fully step into our power. So we did choose all of this, all of these experiences um, stay positive about it. I like to think our lives get a lot better after spiritual awakening, right? Because the universe is kind of trying to shake us awake and kind of throw a lot in our faces and kind of remind us. Um, so I like to think that, you know, we simply tend to shift kind of back towards the light. We tend to get more positive. We tend to start to create better and better experiences. Stay positive about where this is leading everyone. Jamie Nicoli. Become the elixir. Let your glow do the heavy lifting. Um, and for sure, a lot of you guys, like, I know you're really good, but by your energy, right? It's by the energy. We don't have to really know, like, everything about someone. There's a resonance. You can tell by the frequencies that people are on. So that is why we're drawing each other. Um, for sure, this is going to be, 2020 is going to be a year where we kind of take, take our glow up a notch. <laughs> we're going to take our glow up a notch. We're able to handle more and more of these light, these light frequencies. We're kind of um, simulating more and more of these energies and we're going to continue to. We're turning into divine angelic kind of beings, light bodies. Let's see. Glenn Armstrong divine drunkenness surrender to your spiritual reverie um time to let go time to surrender time to release control i have to do that periodically because things don't always go my way either right things don't always go my way either surrender can be very powerful in praying to the universe having too much um remember that we're getting put under a lot of pressure and this is everyone on the planet because that's how you know carbon is turned to a diamond right <laughs> we're turning from carbon to crystalline so it can feel like we're under a lot of pressure energetic Make sure that you are kind of taking good care of your body, too. Vesna Milo's. You're in great company. Pull back to propel forward. I love doing group stuff, like even these videos, right? Even these videos, group projects, a lot of you guys know that I've kind of tried to do so many group things, and I love it because it's a really powerful when we come together, right? Um, it's how we can kind of shine brighter. It creates more of a powerful energy. It's really powerful in coming together with other awake people, for sure. We know it's easier to manifest together with another person, too. Um, put out vibrations for your soul tribe to find you. I 
think as we're doing this work, we're gonna have more and more um, of the right people around us too. Let's see. Catherine Diane Jelly Farrar. <laughs> You're invited. This is your like little kid Valentine's Day kind of invitation at school, right? So, um, definitely time to show up. You're being invited to the fifth dimension. This is going to take more work though, right? People talk about it like we're there, but I think we have a little bit more work to do in kind of um, going up with the frequencies and kind of anchoring in this light. But you guys are definitely headed there um, to kind of a new state of being, a new level of consciousness. Any inner work that you can do, kind of releasing the old, letting go of bad habits, things that aren't good for you, um, you know, toxic thoughts, things like that will really help speed up this process. Jennifer Sloan from Fear to Fuel. Stand still and own your power. Time to let go of fear. And I know everyone will say, not me. <laughs> right? I spent a lot of my life, my peers, working on getting rid of these fears, right? Especially um, coming from America. <laughs> Even though I live in England now, I am American. And I feel like you have we have more fear programming over there, like right from the beginning. Um, time to let go of fear. For me, doing that is trusting the universe and working on my root chakra more. Um, so the best thing for fear is is connecting with nature we're feeling ungrounded a lot right <laughs> the best thing to work do for fear or anxiety is to get outside connect with nature it'll help heal our root chakra heal our aura things like that um reparenting yourself we didn't have the best um you know family lines that we came into they just had a lot of trauma that trauma trauma being activated throughout different generations and a lot of stuff kind of to deal with so I think it's very important as light workers that we're learning how to reparent ourselves. Like I said, if we have negative kind of thoughts, like, no, honey, no, right? Like, oh, this isn't going to work today. And I'm like, oh, no, honey, it is. It really is. We need to be more encouraging to, with ourselves. Um, so this all kind of begins within. So it's important that we're kind of fine tuning the things that we're thinking about and that we're learning how to reparent ourselves with better thoughts too. Tina Verwers. Make the grade with flying colors. Remember, you signed up for this, and that is the theme of the day, right? We are the underdog this life. It's not always that easy, right? It was nicer being pharaohs and kings and queens and things like that. Um, but we did choose this role for a reason that we could really step into our spiritual power and kind of bring forth our abilities that we came with. Beck Smith. <laughs> Flip it upside down. Question your beliefs. Um... For sure, we're going to continue to expand how we're seeing things, the information that's coming to us, how we view reality. I've been through so many kind of layers of consciousness, just trying to make sense of the world I live in in myself, and it's kind of a deep rabbit hole, so just stay open, um, especially to learning. A lot of people get in these little ego dramas, like, we'll use some something everyone can relate with. Oh, the earth's flat, the earth's round, and they'll literally argue over it, and people don't understand that. Each person has their own world and universe, and it works differently there. So I'm only sharing, you know, my piece of reality with you. That doesn't mean that it's like that where you live. It could be much different. Um, I think we're all kind of having our own kind of experience here and that we need to be very open to hearing about others reality and perspective as well. Stay open that everyone has a universe that works differently. Lizette Vargas. I think that that's what the ascension process is, is bringing together all of these individual realities in a very kind of separate state back into kind of a cohesion of oneness. Um, so, you know, I know that we were kind of in this little individual reality, but we're working on merging all these kind of universes together back into oneness as well. Lizette Vargas. Build in breaks. <laughs> Saunter slowly. Um, I know people love to talk about how amazing it is to be a healer, but a lot of people don't talk about how it can take a lot of energy as well, right? I say it uses a lot of our magic when we're serving others and we're kind of pouring our all. And so it can be a lot on our energy. Um, you know, number one, when you are a healer, take care of your own energy. Take breaks if you need it. I have to do that often. You guys see I disappear at times and I kind of go on these little stretches and do videos and then I have to recharge and restore my energy. So make sure that you're taking very good care of your energy. I'm noticing that a lot of the healers and empaths and light workers are the ones feeling these energies most intensely or going through the most upgrades with these energies. That's because we're very open to it and, you know, accepting of it where a lot of people might be resisting these new frequencies. So for sure, pay attention to your body. Okay, I'm going to be going on this note. I am manifesting students. Um, if you guys haven't been attuned to Reiki, I always tell people it's a good place to start. I have other classes too. Maybe go check my site out if you resonate with this and I will be back 
back tomorrow. <laughs>